kids. Welcome back to 396 Guitars. We have the white P bass on the bench. This is the final installment, I promise. This was a build for a customer. He has taken it home, played it. He loves it, of course. Um, I had no doubts. And today it's back only because we're taking the donor strings off that I used during the build to not waste a good set of strings. And we're going to put black string trees on and black uh, locking strap locks. Uh, so let's get to work. And remember, I always say it, if you think what I'm doing, like and subscribe. So beautiful, <coughs> beautiful instrument. Um, it plays like butter and it's lightweight. I like the weight on it. Now it's going to get a, about another half a pound of gear on it. But um, not a half a pound, maybe a quarter of a pound. Uh, every little bit counts. Uh, screaming instrument. Um, it really plays well. It's not uh, anything special, but it is. Uh, Mexican neck, uh, body, everything's fender on it, uh, except for the tuners. They were off-brand, but I've used them before, and I like them. I wanted the black ones. I talked the customer into it. He digs on them. Uh, today, we're taking this string tree out. And putting in two black, uh, two black string trees. And you may ask why two of them. Well, I'll tell you why right now. You hear that on the A string? If you hold it down right here, it doesn't do that anymore. You sometimes, every once in a while, uh, you have to put a second string tree. These necks sometimes are just too flat and you don't get enough break angle no matter how much you try to wrap the string down. Um, I actually have one of my bases has two string trees on it. It's no big deal. There are other ways to do it. There are tuners that actually have a hook that go over and grab the A string and pull it down because this is a thing that happens sometimes on some bases. I've really only experienced it on uh, fenders, but Whatever. These strings are done. They've served their purpose. Oh, and we're going to also, of course, double check all settings and adjustments. Final setup, basically. So, we're cutting these off. Just don't need them. They served their purpose. Uh, they came off of a brand new instrument at some juncture and uh, work in the shop or whatever, what have you. Um, and I don't know, customer had a brand new bass and he wanted to put his the kind of strings that he wanted down there. So I saved these because it was a brand new instrument. That's why I save them. I don't save them to use them. I save them to use them for mock-ups just like this. Ya fala. So we don't need this string tree. It's pretty tall. I don't know how tall those are. Of course, that will go into my parts bin. So that string tree is going to go in the same spot, and then we're going to position the second string tree. Save your little baggies. You never know when you'll need them. And no, not for what we used to use them for back in 100 years ago. These do have little lines in them, so you have to orient them correctly uh, so that the strings are kind of positioned properly. Just make sure you're not putting too long a string of screw in there. You don't need to have your string trees super tight. Snug. That's it, because they do kind of need to be able to move depending on where the string channels are underneath. You can eyeball it and get it close, but 
<clears throat> you want it to be able to move a little bit. Um, the second one, yeah, I'm just going to eyeball it because I kind of know where it needs to be. Let me just look at mine. I think I have it a little farther. See, this one is pretty close to where that one is. I think we're going to put it over here a bit. Yeah. That looks beauty. And then we just, if my pick will go through there. Mark it. Yep, right there. And, yeah, I love drilling into virgin wood. I can't wait to hear all the trolls about this. There's... Somebody out there that loves to keep telling me all about the Eric Clapton uh, Stratocaster a couple of weeks ago or a month or so ago, but yeah, everybody's entitled to their opinion, and as far as I'm concerned, opinions vary. So, you are absolutely entitled to your opinion. You could be right, but I don't think so. I generally don't. I generally don't engage someone who is really being negative. I, I try not to be. Um, it doesn't get you anywhere. Um, you're entitled to your opinion. Always. <laughs> 100% you are entitled to your opinion. But if you're going to be negative, keep it to yourself. That's all I'm saying. Love it. Love it! Just had a mandolin in the shop. Customer picked it up today. Mandolin. Eastman, I think it was, an Eastman mandolin. Um, nice little instrument. And he wanted a... Uh, we had to put a pickup in it because he wanted to be able to play it through an amp, you know, um, and be able to amplify it. And it had two little round transducers that we had to put in. That was pretty interesting. I did not show it because we just did the... the Man, uh, Mandingo, as it were, recently. Those of you that saw it. Same kind of thing. Little mandolin type instrument from South America. That customer wanted a pickup put in it as well. And we obliged him. see the damn thing, but that should work nicely. Now we'll find out. And the string of choice, except no substitutes, as I have learned. That's what I use on my basis. Personal preference. Strings are personal preference. I find these to be very long-lasting and um, sound really crisp and thumpy, which is what I like. Where's the big one? I think I have the big one. Oh, yeah. So, stand by briefly while I string it up. Um, I probably should have put these in first, but I don't know how they go. I 
Well, let's just say with the stringing for now. One, two, three. And that should do it. The measure that's going to live here, one, two, three, and snip it off. If it's too much, you can always pull it out and cut it a little shorter, but this is usually where they want to live. doing this so I can get to the A. I'm going to show you the whole thing. Why not? Why not? Today's exercise is basically putting the string trees in and the strap buttons, which are locking shallower type. I don't think these are shallower. I had them in my parts bin. One, two, three... I like it. We've got two and starting a third wrap. So that measurement, it always works. It never fails me. break angle yeah before the string went like straight over to the, the tuning machine now it goes down we have to force it down so that it doesn't so that it doesn't twang yeah I love it when a plan comes together Customer right now is debating whether to put Seymour Duncan pickups in it, and I told them after everything that I went through to clearance this pickup, this pick guard to accept those pickups, and I played this instrument and I played it extensively before I gave it back to him to deliver it. These pickups sound pretty good. I wish I knew what the hell they were. I wish I knew what they were. I measured the ohms on them, they're pretty hot. They came out of a, a Palmer bass guitar. And I can tell you that they're they got a better sound than the Fender ones. This string is going to want to go under this string tree and that one catches two string trees right there. Make sure that we're in the position where we want to be. I think we are. And then I'll, I'll snug that down when it finds its home. I just saw the string tree kind of pull around as I put tension on it. That's why you leave them. Don't snug them down. Oh, yeah. Not tuning yet. I'm just pulling up the tension. I think we can probably put a little tighten on that one. That should hold nicely. Mind you, quit messing with me. This is why I don't usually show stringing up an entire instrument because there's always one little thing that takes up my video time.
already I can tell it sounds great. And yeah, the A string isn't rattling. Yeah, this all looks good. I like it. Um, make sure we are good here. I, I was really pleased the way the string spacing came out on this guitar. I mean, it, it couldn't be more perfect. Just love it when you know parts go together and really mesh. Except for that, that really gave me agita for a couple of days. I'm honest with you. In fact. To repeat, that's the second pick guard because I screwed the pooch on the first one. What the hell size is this? I can't remember if these are standard or metric. Of course, they're going to be metric because I pulled out the standard one. Isn't everything metric in the world now? I should know better, right? So, pre-drilled the holes, of course. A little clear coat coming off. And you just go to it. By hand, don't put a power tool on them. These, this is virgin wood and virgin hole, but they should get really snug and hold tightly. You don't want them coming out ever. This is all I use on my bases. I recommend it to all my customers, locking tuners. This goes on the, the, the guitar strap itself, and it stays in there in position. I'll help him with that if he can't figure it out, although he's good at taking shit apart. He just can't put it back together. Did I say it out loud? I sure did. One. He's going to get a chuckle out of that, but it's an inside joke. He's going to get a chuckle out of that, or maybe not. Maybe he's maybe he, he'll curse me when he hears it. <laughs> I like the way they're going in, nice and snug. Just get it snug. And that should be all it needs. So, that is pretty straightforward stuff, right? These we don't need to leave on the guitar. We're going to put those in his guitar case. Stand by. I'm going to put it in the zipper hole, in the zipper pocket. Um, well, let's see. This guitar has now got its forever strings, and its forever trees, and its forever strap locks. Where are we as far as the setup goes? Don't know. Shouldn't have changed much. It did a little bit. These strings are probably a little bit heavier. So pretty sure three sixteenths. 
a little loose. And my experience tells me that these necks are usually pretty responsive. So I put about an eighth of a little over an eighth of a turn. Let's check it again. Could probably go a little bit more, but I'm gonna leave it. I don't want it too tight. Ah, I like this guitar. Uh, string height. String height. Or as we affectionately refer to it as action. Six. I love it. All we did was put a little more tension on the neck and really it didn't change much of anything else. And we're going to let that go. Um, we're going to let him play it and I'm going to want it back here in two weeks after he beats on it. I'm going to leave him to take his plastic off the, the keys up here. I'm not putting any of my fingerprints on his new gear. I love it. I think it's a Phenomenal little bass. So crisp, so crisp. Oops, sorry. to come up slightly. I think our A needs to come up slightly. Where was that? Was it lower? Did I miss something? It is lower. <laughs> well, human. Human. Make sure it's nice and level. There we go. That. better. Yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah, she's good now. All right. Another one in the books, kids. Uh, P-Base build. It's finished now. Okay, so I'm not coming back to this. It'll come back to me in a couple of weeks, but I'm not going to film it. it. 
that's just going to be readjust, let the wood settle, let everything that's bolted together get together. Uh, and then we'll go through the entire setup again. That's just how I do it. Um, I, I don't charge extra for it. It just has to be done. Uh, we'll talk soon. It's Blackjack with 396 Guitars. Remember, if you dig what I'm doing, like and subscribe. Boy, I really hate this boom. I got to get a new boom. We'll talk soon.